Hey guys, what's going on? Tool Cruise here and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about mountain bike shoes versus road shoes. So I've been cycling for a long time, over, it's hard to believe, <laughs> over 15 years now uh, from anything from competitive cycling to international bike touring to regular bike commuting. I've done a whole bunch of different types of cycling and I often make videos here about cycling on this channel so I'm often asked the question, uh, which type of pedals do I prefer? Which type of shoes do I prefer? So we're going to be talking about that in today's video. I'm going to be talking about my opinions, my experiences, and which one I prefer. So mountain bike shoes or road shoes, which one is the best and which one should you get? Before we begin though, I want to say a special thank you to our new channel sponsor, which is Santic Cycling. Santic is a cycling wear and shoes company based out of China, and they provided all the different shoes that you'll be seeing in this video, so thank you to them. I'll talk about them more in detail, as well as some special offers they have going on right now later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the video. I want to first start with mountain bike shoes. So these are actually my regular pair of mountain bike shoes that I've been using for the last year or so. And you can see right away that my shoes are completely caked in mud. Recently, my wife and I did a mountain biking ride together and they got pretty dirty. We haven't cleaned our bikes or shoes since then. So, uh, but this is just part of the thing with mountain biking. Your shoes are gonna get dirty and the shoes and cleats are designed to work in mud, work in any tough conditions. So that's one of the big advantages of mountain bike shoes and mountain bike pedals is they can pretty much just go through anything. You don't have to worry about any kind of condition. So on a nice weather day, on a rough weather day, going through mud and anything, you can pretty much go anywhere with mountain bike shoes. So they're really versatile. Whereas on road shoes, you can really only use them on the road and if you get any sort of mud or dirt in there It's gonna really mess with the system. So mountain bike shoes the big plus is you can go anywhere The other big advantage with mountain bike shoes is you can easily walk in them So yeah, they're cycling shoes You're meant to be using them while you ride your bike But you're not riding your bike the entire time you often have to get off your bike to maybe uh, Go get some food walk into like a convenience store or something or even just walking from the stairs from your home To the main road where you can ride your bike for me personally I live in an apartment so I have to walk downstairs and it's really awkward in road shoes. You can easily see that here when you look at the bottom of the shoes. So on the bottom of the mountain bike shoes you can see we have these flat platforms and the cleat actually goes underneath that so the cleat doesn't stick out underneath the shoe and you can walk normally. Whereas the road shoe there's nothing else but the sole down here so the cleat itself sticks out from the bottom and it creates this awkward position of you walking with the cleat down here and that touching the ground. And this is a standard cleat for road shoes by the way. These are the Shimano SPD SL system. I've also got the standard Shimano SPD mountain bike cleats as well. So you can see there's a big difference between these two and of course not all road bike cleats are the same, not all mountain bike cleats are the same, but they do sort of follow the same general design. Mountain bike cleats are generally a lot smaller and road bike cleats are generally a lot larger. I've also got another style of road style cleats here. These are look style cleats. These are Shimano. Uh, they're generally the same design. They have the three screws and the mountain bike system will have the two screws. But yeah, being able to get off your bike and walk around comfortably is a huge deal, especially for me now. I do a lot more uh, touring riding, a lot more leisurely riding now, a lot more adventure riding. Sometimes I even do some sort of bike and hike, so I'll get off, I see something really cool, I want to go take a picture of it, I want to walk and get close. And if I'm on road shoes, it's just really awkward. And actually when you're walking around on the road shoes, you can damage your cleats so the cleats don't last as long. That's another big advantage I found with mountain bike cleats is they last a lot longer. And that's because they are protected underneath this section here. They're not not getting scratched when you're walking or anything so the cleats on mountain bike shoes definitely last a lot longer you can walk a lot more comfortably so if you're like me and you get off your bike a lot and walk around a lot I would definitely recommend considering mountain bike shoes just that point alone I think is worth it and another cool thing about mountain bike shoes compared to road shoes is I feel that mountain bike shoes have a much wider range of different shoes available that you can try. Uh, for example, you can get, of course, the regular racing style shoe, the mid-entry level style shoe. You can get the full carbon sole on the bottom. You can get a half hybrid carbon sole with other type of plastic kind of sole to save money. And you can also, of course, go to more budget-friendly, non-pro style mountain bike shoes as well. So I feel like mountain bike shoes are a lot more beginner-friendly. They have a lot more options that look more like regular shoes where you can also use the mountain bike cleats. So I feel like it helps reduce the barrier for people who are looking into using clipless pedals but don't necessarily want to go with the pro cycling style look. Anyway, I think I've talked about most of the advantages of mountain bike shoes. Let's go on to some of the disadvantages of mountain bike shoes. And of course, one of the first big disadvantages is gonna be weight. If you compare an identical mountain bike shoe to an identical road bike shoe, the mountain bike shoe is going to be heavier, and that's 
pretty much unavoidable because it has extra material down here on the bottom, the extra grip on the shoe. There are different levels, so if we compare these two here, you'll see that the grip on the black shoe is a lot deeper and a lot thicker than the grip here on this one. So this one is more of a racing style shoe, a more high end, lighter weight kind of shoe. And this one's kind of more like mid entry sport level. So you can pay extra money, you can get a higher level shoe and it can get pretty lightweight, but even the top end mountain bike shoes are going to be a fraction a bit heavier than their road bike counterparts. And that's just because there is extra material that they are working with. I find the difference in weight to be really fractionable and the benefits far outweigh it. So it doesn't really bother me that much personally. Another disadvantage with mountain bike shoes is they do tend to be a little bit more flexible so you do lose a little bit more on your power output and that's more of a problem on the more like middle lower end shoes. On the higher end shoes there's not so much of a problem but I think the majority of shoes are targeted towards that more lower range so there is a little bit of a problem with that. And another problem I found with the mountain bike shoes, and this is more having to do with the cleat style system. Again, going back to the mountain bike cleats being much smaller than the road style cleats, I find that because of the smaller surface area, it creates some more hot spots on your feet. So if you're doing much longer rides, there's more pressure and it's isolated in a smaller area. This doesn't happen so much on shorter rides, but if you're doing longer rides, I've definitely noticed some hot spots um, from using SPD pedals and mountain bike shoes. So that is something to be aware of. And that leads us to our next part of the video, which is road shoes. So continuing on the last point on hot spots, because the cleats here on the road style systems are much larger, there's more contact area here on the bottom of the shoe. So if you're doing a lot more longer rides, I have noticed a considerable difference in comfort and I've never really had any hot spot problems with my road bike shoes on long rides. Whereas I've definitely noticed the problem with my mountain bike shoes on the ride. And that's not always necessarily because of the shoe, but more so because of the pedal system associated with it. Another thing going back to size, it always comes down to size, doesn't it? With the larger surface area, I definitely feel a lot more stable, a lot more secure. I do feel that there is some better power transfer when I'm riding with my road pedals and my road shoes. I'm not sure if that's just mental. I know there have been some scientific studies that don't really show much of a difference between the power transfer between road pedals and mountain bike pedals, but definitely from a mental perspective and the feeling of clipping in and pushing the pedals, I do personally feel that I'm getting more power into my pedals um, with road shoes and road pedal systems compared to mountain bikes. But that could be a number of different things and it could just all be in my head. And actually, as we're going through the advantages of these road shoes, I'm realizing that most of the advantages of the road shoes, I already listed these on the disadvantage of the mountain bike shoes. So another one being the road shoes are much lighter. So that's actually a really big deal if you're doing longer rides. The more weight you can save, the more energy you save, the less tired you are at the end of the ride. And especially with rotational weight, rotational weight in cycling is really huge. Um, so you're constantly spinning your pedals, you're constantly moving your legs up and down. So the less weight you have to move when you do that, the more energy you can save. So there definitely are some energy savings that you can have when you ride with road bike shoes compared to mountain bike shoes. Going on to the disadvantages, we've already mentioned that these are really hard to walk in and when you do walk in them, you have to change your cleats more often. One other disadvantage is the pedal system itself where you can only clip in on one side normally. So you have to position the pedal perfectly, clip in the right way. And it can be really difficult to do this, especially in a high pressure situation. For example, the start of a race, if you can't clip in, that's a huge problem. Or if you have to unclip during a climb and clip back in and start the climb again, it can be really difficult to clip in on regular road style cleats. There is one exception to this and that is speed play road pedals, which I use for a number of years and I really like those. They allow you to clip in on both sides, just like mountain bike shoes. So that's another advantage to mountain bike shoes and mountain bike cleats is mountain bike cleats are generally, you can clip in on both sides. So it's a lot easier to work with and a lot easier to get in and out. So which do I prefer, mountain bike shoes or road shoes? I think after hearing my comparison, you'll definitely agree that there are more advantages for riding mountain bike shoes being able to walk and being able to ride in a whole bunch of different conditions, not having to worry about getting muddy and being able to clip in at any time and also having a lot more affordable options and the cleats lasting longer. For me personally, all these benefits really make the mountain bike option the no brainer. Unless you're planning to only ride road on nice days or doing really long road rides regularly or possibly getting into competitive cycling. These are the three different situations I would strongly consider um, going with the road shoe option. But for anyone else, I definitely think that the mountain bike shoe is the way to go. And even on mountain bike shoes, you can race with mountain bike shoes and mountain bike pedals to a competitive level. When I was racing in the US, when I first started uh, from Cat 5 to Cat 2, I did all my racing on mountain bike shoes and I even won a Cat 2 race on mountain bike shoes and mountain bike pedals. So I don't feel like you're losing that much of a competitive edge if you are using mountain bike shoes and plus you get all the benefits 
benefits added on top of that. And if you're like me now, you mostly ride your bike just for enjoyment purposes. You walk around a lot, you take pictures, you get off your bike, you wanna take a picture of your bike. It's just a lot more comfortable and a lot more enjoyable doing that in mountain bike shoes. But of course there are advantages and disadvantages to both and I think they both serve a purpose. I use both now actually for most of my regular rides, my touring rides, I use my mountain bike shoes. But for my regular training and actually for all my indoor riding right now, I use some power meter pedals and the power meter pedals are road style pedals. So I need to use a road style shoe to work with the power meter pedal. So that's another advantage I actually didn't mention is that is a lot of power meter pedals on the market now are designed for road shoes and there aren't really many options available for mountain bike shoes. So if you're looking into more power meter training and you wanna use power meter pedals, you're gonna to have to go with the road style shoe option. Anyway, that pretty much sums up all my thoughts and ideas. I hope this video was helpful for you guys in making your decision whether you should go with road style shoes or mountain bike style shoes. If I missed anything, make sure to let me know down below in the comments. Also, if you're looking for a new pair of cycling shoes, check out some of the options from our sponsor, Santic. They've got a whole bunch of different options up on Amazon that are all really reasonably priced. And uh, this shoe, this design is actually my wife's favorite color. So again, a special thank you to Santic for helping sponsor this video. And I also wanted to take this moment to announce our partnership with Santic moving forward. So they've become an official sponsor for our channel. And this is a really big and exciting move for us. Santic was actually the first brand that reached out to us over two years ago in the beginning stage of this channel to do a product review for one of their jerseys. And over the last few years, we've been developing our relationship. We've done a couple different product reviews for their uh, different winter jerseys, summer jerseys, fall jerseys, and also for some of their shorts, their winter tights, and cycling shoes as well. So we've been building this relationship for the last few years and I've really enjoyed their products. I've used their jerseys a lot over the last few years during my regular commutes and their cycling shoes and everything has just been working really well. I really like the brand. They've been really good with us and they provide a lot of really good quality items at a really affordable price and I've just been amazed and blown away at the quality of the jersey you get for the price for them. If you haven't seen already, you can see some of my other jersey reviews, but the quality of jersey that you get for the price that they charge is just ridiculous. So we're really excited to be able to work with the brand that we trust, with the brand that we've quality tested, with the brand that we've recommended to you guys in the past and you guys have tested and quality tested and given positive feedback. So with our partnership moving forward, that means we'll be sporting some more Santa gear in our videos. This is actually a new jersey I just got. And Toonchan also got a couple new kits, which we'll be showing you guys in some future videos. And they're really cool looking, so be on the lookout for those. They also have a custom kit service, and they'll be making our new Tool Cruise custom kit, our brand new cycling kit design. We're working on finalizing the design right now, and those will be available for order very soon. I'll be announcing that very soon. Here's a quick sneak peek of our design, so let us know what you guys think. We're switching from blue to red. And speaking of custom kits, Santic is actually running a promotion right now. So for only $50, you can get your own custom jersey, custom shorts. This includes the design fee as well as shipping. So this is a pretty awesome deal, but it is limited to one kit per person and only I think 10 people in total. So I'll leave our link down below. They're also running a sale on Amazon Japan this weekend. So certain shorts are 50% off. Go check it out. It's limited time sale only though. So again, I'll leave the links down below. I'm going to finish this video here for today. So thanks again to Santic for joining the Tubal Cruise family and helping support us so we can continue to make more cycling videos. That's going to be it for today, guys. I hope this video was helpful in you guys deciding whether you should go with mountain bike shoes or road shoes. If you have any other questions you'd like me to go over in a future video, leave them down below, and I'll see you guys next time here on Tubal Cruise. Mm -hmm.